My favorite sport is volleyball. I've been playing it since I was a little kid. It just feels so free. Yeah. I love hitting, um, and it kind of takes out so much aggression. It's just, it's just so fun. <laughs> it's a team sport. It really takes everyone to play. We were playing St. Mary's. My team had gone 14-0. That season was my sophomore year. And I went up to hit, and I came down, landed on one foot, and my knee kind of just gave out. And I knew something was wrong. I sat out the rest of that game, and we ended up losing in the semifinals. After that, I went to the doctors. So we literally left her pediatrician's office and went right around the corner and went to the University of Maryland and Dr. Natalie Young's office. She took my x-rays and she was like, I can't see anything now, but I think something's definitely wrong. From the physical exam, I knew that she had a serious knee injury and um, suspected that her ACL was torn. We then got an MRI that confirmed that. She called me the next day after my MRI and she's like, I have bad news, you tore your ACL and you'll need surgery and you can't play in your upcoming club season. And I was distraught. The ACL doesn't heal well if you just sew the two ends back together. What we needed to do was reconstruct a whole new ACL for her by taking a piece of tissue from the front of her own knee, drilling new tunnels through the bones and stringing it through her knee to make her a new ACL. We call that reconstructing the ACL. It honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was pretty smooth sailing. Everyone at the um, University of Maryland Orthopedics was really nice. For Milani, I think she did so very well because she was very motivated in her recovery. After ACL surgery, it hurts and everything is a little stiff and a little sore, but she spent a lot of effort in the recovery process and that contributed to her great outcome. To see her now, to see where she's been and where she's at, woo, it's still stressful to watch the games now. Cause every, <laughs> now that she's out of the brace, I've been used to, her dad and I have been used to seeing her with the brace on and she weaned herself out of the brace. Come July would have been the whole year. So she started winging herself out of that brace and I'm like, are you sure? She's like, yep. It taught me so much more than I ever thought it would. Mm -hmm. Like it taught me determination to work for what you want. And I wanted to be on that court and I love volleyball and I went to play. So it, it taught me to work for that. It's not about how you fall, it's how you bounce back. It's a long process, but like if you keep putting in the work, you can get through it and you'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Now I'm 100%, I'm back. I barely have any pain. Uh, I still take care of myself. Definitely the injury taught me to like take care of your body a little bit more, Be listen to your body, be a little more cautious um, and practice recovery. So I still ice my knee, um, I stretch more, but yeah. now I feel better than ever.